Hi everybody, I'm finally here and okay, so apparently the screen is sideways. Um, okay. <laughs> um, all right, so the screen is sideways, now we know. See, that's why this is beta test number two. Um, so I do have lighting, thank you. <laughs> but um, I don't have a co-host and honestly, I'm kind of freaked out. So um, I feel a little strange because I don't have headset on. And um, anyway, so what I'm going to do tonight. Okay, so now I know for some reason, I don't know why when it was tilted sideways like that, it wouldn't, it wouldn't uh, show video um, or why it wouldn't show correctly. Um, so, okay, what I'm going to do is... All right, so I did try, now again, I'm doing all this by myself right now, except for the light. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, thanks. Yeah, camera sideways, figured it out already. Um, and um, so I, I was going to set things up so that people could, uh, can you hear me? Also, can you guys hear me? <laughs> uh, please let me know if you can hear me because I feel a little strange because I can't, I can't, my, yeah, my co-host last week was, was Kahlua. Thanks, Carl. Um, so I was going to try to do, okay, great, thank you. Thanks, Joe. Um, I was going to try to do, um, take calls through Skype, but my computer, for some strange reason, uh, doesn't seem to recognize its microphone. Oh, hey. Hi, Shelly. <laughs> um, so, I was, so then the other thing I was going to try to do was take calls through Facebook Messenger. Now, one of the issues I ran into was, I'll show you, I have all these old phones right here. <laughs> okay. I thought surely with one of them, I could... Uh, Turn, use Skype or Facebook. So the video is freezing on and off. Okay. Well, I am recording. I am recording GoPro. Uh, hopefully this week it'll work. Um, since I can't see the back of it, um, so the video is free. I can't see what you're telling me over there. Oh, okay. All right. So if if the video is freezing on and off, then uh, you might just want to restart the your program and relaunch it or something because other people are saying that the video is doing just fine. So um, I'm going to be managing the chat through my laptop right here and and add additional people on Messenger Live. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how to, look, everyone's got such great suggestions and opinions and everything, but um, to be honest, I'm just doing everything by myself and the reason I started late is because I was in the bathroom having a breakdown, <laughs> to be honest. So try to keep your um, over suggestions kind of to a minimum right now because right now I'm kind of like barely here. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm started late. Uh, uh, I was trying to stick to the 7 p.m. schedule. I'm watching on my Android phone and everything it looks fine. Thank you, Paul. Okay, so um, back to what I was saying. Um, I'm going to be, if I can get the chat up, hold on. This wasn't my plan to be this, uh, unorganized. Okay. So I got the chat here. So hopefully I can, um, okay. Haha. <laughs> um, I'm sitting on a pillow right now to try to make my, myself higher. Wait, there we go. How's that? All right, there we go. <laughs> the camera's tilted a little too low. I think that's what the problem is. Um, okay. So, uh, hold on. Let me get to the, the chat. Uh, of course, I can't. Bear with me. Um, 
So just so you guys, uh, just to fill you everybody in on what I've been doing over the past two weeks, I know I mentioned, oh, I've got 11 viewers. <laughs> Not so bad for kind of like, let's see. All right, let's see if I can, okay. All right, so let me re resituate myself right here. Since the chat screen is way over on the right side of the computer, of course, of course it's going to do that. Um, all right. Oh, come on, man. Let's do this again. So right now I'm trying to drag my screen over to the left side of my computer so that I can have more of a better eye line. Um, Thank you, Jim. And, uh, all right, oh, I can't, this, I need help. As you can tell, I need help. It's a sweater, actually, it's a little warm, but, um, okay, I guess I'm not gonna be able to. See, this is where having a co-host or an engineer or just any type of an assistant would come in really handy. Um, whoever's sending me all the thumbs up, thank you. Okay. Ugh. All right. Stupid, stupid computer. I guess I'm going to have to... Here, let me do it this way. How about this? Learning as I go. That's why this one's beta test number two. Okay, so I got the um, chat up over here, and <laughs> it, it looks a little strange seeing comments coming from my own account popping up on here, but thank you, Melissa Hill Raw Talk, for telling me that I'm going to do just fine. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> okay, so, uh, too far on my right on the screen, okay. Oh, how's that? All right. Um, so let me go through the comments. So as I said, now, okay, audience, audience participation, I'm loving it. Now let's slow it down a little bit because I can only read so much. <laughs> um, but I appreciate, I appreciate the uh, participation. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through the chat right now. Um, that's better. Okay, great. Thank you. All right. And here we go. So, booyah. Thanks. Just be yourself. Okay, I will. Uh, no, I, you know what? I didn't even get to eat either. Actually, I have a hard cider in the refrigerator that it would be great if it magically appeared in my hand. Come to Pittsburgh and, uh, hello, Thomas. You're new. I don't think I've ever seen your name before. Um, and uh, no Collins, right? No, I was, I don't. Um, I tried, like I, I was saying, I was trying to set up my Skype so that I could do Collins. But um, so the reason, hi, t hey TW. So what happened was I was planning on doing my Facebook Live from my laptop. And, um, and so when I, I was trying to do a test, test run last night, it tells, it tells me that you can't do Facebook Live from your laptop just that easy. It requires like this whole extra setup, unlike, um, it's not in the door right there? Oh, did I drink it? <laughs> I'm talking to the can of hard cider over there. Um, so, uh, and this pimple is disgusting. Sorry, excuse the pimple. Hey, Nick, thanks for tuning in again. Um, hey, Nick, hey. Co-hosting gig, you open? What do you think? Because I need one. <laughs> and you're local. Um, so uh, anyway, so what I was saying was that I was going to do my Facebook Live from the computer. But when I was doing the whole test run, it told me that I couldn't, I couldn't do it because it didn't recognize there isn't a, a, a camera hooked up. And then I'd have to go through this whole setup, which... Um, a listener tried to walk me through last night, but I was just like, it's too much. You know, it required downloading some sort of, um, 
software, all this kind of stuff. And I wasn't sure, you know, if I wanted to commit to, you know, I'm not sure which platform I'm, I want to commit to. Um, it's not who told me, it's what I experienced, <laughs> Andrew, regarding the extra setup. When I turned on my Facebook Live last night, I got a message saying that it doesn't recognize there's no camera. It doesn't recognize the camera that's built into the computer. So, and I don't have a separate webcam. I have a GoPro, so I tried to set up the GoPro as my webcam. But in order to do that, you have to like hack into the GoPro and change some settings and all this other kind of stuff. Um, Andrew, whatever you're telling me right now, I'm telling you, I experienced it for myself. I did it myself. No one told me this. I did it myself. And through my own experience of what I read and saw with my own eyes, um, Okay. Oh, you're not in LA anymore? Okay. All right. So, trying to catch up to the... Okay. Well, ch okay. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, yeah, because I can't have this conversation right now. I'm trying to do three things at once. Um, yeah, I tried to update my driver, but um, in order to update my driver, well, no, I, I did try to update the driver and it wouldn't let me. It said, the driver is just fine. All this other kind of stuff. So basically, I'm having issues with this Windows computer. And, and then there was a program telling me to update drivers that when I clicked on it, I got a warning on my screen that said, warning, you might not want to go this go to this place because we can't trust its you know certificate and all that other kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm reading. Thank you. Um... Oh, <laughs> remember Nick, I told you that you had the same last name as someone else that I know who's also named Nick. This is what just happened. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> so uh, sorry about that. That was a case of mistaken identity, definitely. Okay, multitasking. Um, I also feel a little strange because I'm not connected to the, um, to the sound. You know, last week I had the task cam going with the microphone and all that. And so I guess maybe when I was listening to that, it made me feel like I was still in the studio. Um, and, um, all right. So, all right. So what I wanted to say was, um, over the past couple weeks, you know, I've, I've been going around trying to network, um, uh, maybe, you know, meet some, in, talk to people that maybe have a studio or, or can be a producer, uh, anyone. Yeah, I know, Randy, right? Learn as we go. <laughs> Even though I've been on the air for three and a half years, honestly, everything was already set up for me. So it was easy just to like sit down, everything. So, you know, Sam's probably going, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Whatever, I don't care. I'm still on my own. Um, so uh, I also wanted to get your guys' opinion on what platform do you think I should use? Like there's Stitcher, um, Blog Talk Radio, um, all sorts of different platforms now that people use to, um, oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, all sorts of different platforms people use to, um, hold on a second. Okay, see if I can, someone just, Magical earplugs just appeared. Hello, hello. No, it doesn't. I don't hear anything. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There, got it. Thank you, magical earplugs. Uh -huh. Except now I'm hearing myself on a delay. Ah! <laughs> Hold on one second. <laughs> All right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna plug in this Tascam just so I can, just so I can feel like I'm in a studio, and I can hear myself. Okay. Come on. There we go. There we go. This is called rigging. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Um, Okay, right. See, that's what I want. I want something that's... Ah. <sighs> Thanks, Tascam. 
Okay, <laughs> so at least now I've, I'm feeling like I'm in the studio, so now I can hear myself. Um, I know you guys could hear me. I couldn't hear me. So SoundCloud, all right. Um, now here's the other thing. I want to be able to use my sound effects, um, such as earlier I, I had my sound effects page up. Um, so we'll get to that in a second. But um, anyway, so um, I want to be able to, ha I want to use a platform that has sound, that will allow me to have sound effects, that I can have pre-recorded stuff. Um, you know, let's see if this works. Oh, no, it's not going to work because never mind. <laughs> Learning as we go. So I was going to try to play a sound effects on my computer, but I had the sound turned down because I have the chat running in the background. And the chat, as we know, is on a delay. <laughs> okay. So anyway, here we Let's learn as we go. Um, okay. So no sound effects either, I guess. That's going to be fun today. Um, <laughs> okay, there also seems to be a dilemma over the hat. So, do you guys like this hat? Because other people were like, not, what was it said? Retire the hat, because I've been wearing the same hat for about three years. Um, so, so, we have one person that wants me to bring back the old hat. Another person who actually sent me this hat because they were tired of seeing me in the old hat. <laughs> so, so what's your guys' opinion? Which hat should I wear? Um, okay, let's, we got 12 viewers. This is going to be an awesome show. First time for everything. That's right. Drinking water on the air. Of course, I did that before. Mm. Now, okay, I've been debating going live on, okay. So, uh, that I can't help you with right now. Um, I'd love it if it was a Raiders hat. <laughs> you don't get the hang of remember my first couple. That's right. Actually, Joe Mata, he, he has a podcast called, a podcast by Mata. And I think I was the, either the first or the second interview on that. And the interview was great. Ran, you know. I like to gab, so it ran on for like over an hour, I think, pretty much. All right, let's see. I eyes here. Um, college football. Randy likes a hat. You can have hats. Oh, good idea. You know what? Because I love hats, actually. You know, uh, growing up in, in San Francisco, I used to wear hats and gloves and stuff all the time. I love hats. You know, because I kind of, I got this big forehead. So that's the reason, if anyone's wondering why I always wear a hat, this is why. Because... It just helps. <laughs> Get out. Are you kidding me? TW has the same hat. I told you we were sisters, right? Who knew? Who knew as to how much we were? Um, yeah, I have a five head. Hat looks good. Keep that one. <laughs> Thanks. Thir oh, I had 13 for a second. Now it's back down to 12. All right. All right. Everyone likes this hat. So whoever present whoever provided me with the first hat looks like they have a, they have some competition. If they want me to wear that hat again, I think they're going to have to provide me with another hat. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany <laughs> or TW. Um, so, all right. So dogs in the background. So as I was saying, so I was going to do the broadcast from my laptop, figuring. You know, I could just, it could just be stationary and off to the side, and then I could interact with my phone, which is what I'm doing right now. Um, but, and also I would have had access to my, my sound effects because I have all those saved on files on my phone. For the past couple of years, I've pretty much used my phone as my computer. Um, and see, now it's kicking me in the butt because I'm just going, ah! Um, so anyway, so due to the issues that I had with, with the Facebook live on the computer, not recognizing the built in camera, I had to switch. So once again, I'm broadcasting from my phone. Um, and, and, uh, the other problem that I had with my computer is it's not recognizing my microphone. Goddamn thing. So, um, uh, so, you know, there's all these other 
things going on. And there's a dog yelping out there. Um, so maybe I might decide to turn, turn this off so that I can uh, do the chat. So anyway, from the computer, I'm all discombobulated. Now I have the GoPro going right here, I think. Is it still going? Let me see. GoPro? Yes, it's recording. Yay! I have no idea what it looks like because it's facing that way. And if I access the GoPro app using my phone, well then it'll cut off the Facebook Live. See what I'm dealing with right now? Yeah. <laughs> and if I were to start my GoPro from my phone, uh, if I then went to Facebook Live, it would turn off the GoPro. That's one of the other things that happened last week. Hey, Jason. Um, okay, so you know what? I was gonna have Freckles co-host. You know, because as you saw when I started the broadcast, the, the phone was turned this way. And I was like, oh, shit, there's a, a chair right here. So I, I, I tried to have Freckles be my co-host, but um, his, you know, the person who, who houses us was like, no. <laughs> I don't want Freckles, you know, tripping all over the, the, the cords and all that other stuff. So Freckles isn't even here, unfortunately. I was, I thought he would make a really great co-host and a great conversation piece <laughs> as I yelled out, hey, Freckles, don't do that, don't do that. Um, okay, so I also, so Thomas, I was going to do YouTube as well, but like I, I stated earlier, I'm having all these issues with these mobile devices. So it looks like I'm going to need some sort of like phone sponsor too. <laughs> And, and does Twitch allow me to use pre-recorded sound effects like clapping or music? Because uh, one thing that I'm missing, you know, this is, so Jason, just so you know, um, I left LA Talk Radio and this is my second broadcast bro uh, as an orphan, pretty much. Orphan, homeless child, whatever you want to call it. So I'm, I'm parentless right now. Um, and so that's why this one's called beta test two. I'm learning as I'm going. And, um, so like, um, Jason, of course you've been a guest on here. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you know that there's more music usually. <laughs> you've provided it at times. Uh, and wonderfully I might add. Um, so that was kind of funny. That was a little... Haha, ha, there. Okay, so solo artist, yep. Um, let's check in with that. Okay, so so there's that. Um, I have a, a meeting tomorrow for those of you who have been wondering, like, what is she going to be doing next? So while I was, uh, well, before I left to go to Las Vegas, um, last week I spent a couple of days in Las Vegas for the Adult Entertainment Expo. I wasn't there to do expo stuff. I went there, honestly, to network, to check in on um, some of my, my kids from the support group, which I was able to do, and that was really great because I've, I, hadn't, I had never met them in person um, uh, because the support group has sort of taken on more of a virtual, I don't say virtual reality, more of a, a virtual ex existence. Um, so what's Nick? I'm seeing something. Uh, I have a Twitch channel, but I tried using Streamlabs. Streamlabs. Now, there is another thing, um, but it didn't save my stream. That's the other thing I was worried about. So that's kind of why I have this GoPro going on in, in the background, just in case. And now, oh, wait. I, I didn't actually push record. I'll push record now. So, um, and the task I'm recording. So I have, I have both of those uh sort of like as my backup so that, because eventually I am going to um, post everything on, on to my YouTube channel. I do have a YouTube channel, it's just not really that active right now. Um, so like I said, so I went to the Adult Entertainment Expo to uh, check in with my support group girls, which was really, really great and wonderful. Um, that's all I can say about that, because it's confidential. Um, and then, see, then they had like a, a network meet and greet type thing. So I went to this huge ballroom and walked around and they had um, people giving out swag, you know, little free, not samples, but, 
you know, things that have their names on it because like I said, it was the Adult Entertainment Expo. So samples I don't think is really something that they can give out. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I got a bag from Bad Dragon, which Joe is familiar with. Um, and it was, here's something actually that was really kind of funny. So they, they had Mind Geek in there. They had a guy from Mind Geek. And so I was going around and I was approaching all these different tab tables that, that, you know, set up by companies that do affiliate programs. So I, w I was walking around and I was asking more information about how do, how do affiliate programs work. You know, I don't have a website. Maybe I will, but you know, right now I don't. Um, I, and I explained, I said, I do all of my, uh, got a pimple. I do all my promotions. Hey Luke, just so you know, Luke. So this is beta test number two. I'm now homeless, uh, as a show, uh, as a show. Um, just because I needed to spread my wings a little bit more and that station, although it was really great for three and a half years, kind of um, wasn't allowing me to expand in ways that I wanted to. But I departed a little bit quicker than I was ready to, which is why I'm here. <laughs> so anyway, so like I was saying, I, I, I went around the uh, room and uh, talked to different companies about affiliates, how do they work, um, and they said, yeah, I could actually do, do affiliate with a Facebook page. But the funny thing is that the company that was most, um, uh, I don't want to say more, most forthcoming or the one that was easiest to deal with was MindGeek. <laughs> so, so there I was having a conversation. Now, those of you who are kind of like, well, what's that all about? Mind Geek, they own Pornhub and they own Brazzers and uh, they used to be called Manwin and uh, I forget which, which year it was, around 2006, something like that, right when after porn, the adult industry was doing really great and then suddenly things started dropping. It had to do with Mind Geek Manwin. Um, that's all I'm going to say. So. Uh, so it's been, over the past couple of years, it's been a little um, frustrating watching the younger performers come in and go, I love Pornhub, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, dude, they stole our shit. What the fuck are you talking about? Excuse my language, but that's the truth. And uh, hey, Christina. Um, so Christina just, I, well, everyone fill, fill Christina in on why I'm sitting in a living room and no longer at, in a studio at LA Talk Radio. Um, but anyway, so... Uh, so yeah, the guy from Mind Geek was was I told him too. I said, "Look, I feel a little weird talking to you right now because you're the enemy." <laughs> you know, he was cool with that, I guess. But and I explained why I thought they were the enemy, and I said, "Well, you know what? If I if I if I collaborate in any way with Mind Geek, <laughs> that would be for the record books. It would be pretty funny. At least I'd get a kick out of it, I guess." But um, free agent. That's right, free agent. But you know. Sometimes, and this is something I hear people say a lot, you got to make money. And, um, uh -huh. yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting, uh-huh, over there. Yeah, sometimes you have to make money. And right now, I've been, I've been, I've been doing this show for three and a half years, paying to do it, uh, to broadcast it, and um, not receiving any in income whatsoever. You know, like I said last week, $99 a broadcast adds up. So, um and then, uh, you know, when Howard left, I, I, it was difficult for me to try to get advertisers on my own if I'm also being the one producing and hosting, finding the guests, and deciding on the topics. Um, I look awesome. I got a haircut. Christina was on a show before. She's probably going, what the fuck are you doing her hair? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all gone. Actually, it's, it's already time for another haircut. Um... Always in, in best on setting up the show. Thank you, Troy. Um, let's see. What's I got a I got a oh wow over here. Oh, that's from that's from Joe. Um, yes. Okay. So <laughs> oh, someone I got a magical. <laughs> A magical box of sound effects just landed in my lap right here. <laughs> okay. All right. I get it. 
thank you. <laughs> um, oh, okay. What I don't like about it is if I touch the screen to scroll up, it automatically plays the sound. Uh, 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 okay. All right. I get it. All right. I get it. All right. All right. So, um, hmm. Let's do. <laughs> okay. I got a phone here, a computer here, a Tascam here, and a sound effects machine here. I only got two hands. I'm trying the best that I can. Yeah. So, uh, there you go. Thank you for the magical box of sound effects. Um, Tiffany, you need a, you want to be a freaking co-host? <laughs> no, that wasn't Sam. Uh, uh, somebody's typing for me. Okay. So somebody's typing for me. Um, okay. No, that wasn't Sam. That, that, that was, that was the other hat. So Peter, the provider of this hat. <laughs> Apparently you're winning out because I asked for people to vote on, did they like the original hat or did they like this hat better? And it's an overwhelming response for this hat. No boo? Okay. <laughs> okay, that's Freckles over there. He's taking his paw and just kind of like hitting it. I guess if, I thought he left, but he came running down through the doggy door apparently. And here he is now just kind of like randomly hitting his fist on sound effects. <laughs> um, all right, how much time we got? Damn, it's already 8 o'clock. So... Okay, let me, so I did the networking thing, um, went around asking about affiliates, uh, and, and my, the trip to think somebody donated their flyer, their frequent flyer miles to me. That's how I was able to get there. So not time up. I still need 20 more minutes. <laughs> so, um, um, yeah, no. And, um, no, it's freckles. I told you it's freckles. Um, so, uh, yeah, so somebody gave me their miles so I could get to Vegas. So I did the networking, talked about affiliates. I also inquired if anyone was interested in um, advertising. And again, guess who it was? Mind Geek. Ding, 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 ding. You are a winner. No sound effect? Okay. <laughs> so, a little late on the bell there, guy freckles. So those who were tuned in last week might remember that uh, one of my childhood friends chimed in and said, hey, I'm going to be in Vegas the next day. So I met up with my friend who I, who used to, who started living next door from, from me, next to me when I was eight years old. We went all through school. Um, hadn't really seen him since grad. I saw him once after graduating high school. Uh, he was in town for his eldest 21st birthday. And so I was able to, to, see, to see him. So on Wednesday night, um, which was the night after doing the first beta broadcast, um, I went to the Hard Rock and I uh, uh, dove into some mud slides, slid down some mud. And the next day, mm -mm. awkward. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was awkward. So I got to, to hang out with my, my childhood friend. It was really great. Like I said, I hung out with, um, well, I spent some time meeting Cherie DeVille, quite a beautiful young woman. She was dressed very retro, and I had a cameo on, and her her escort or her chaperone or boyfriend person that was with her was kept commenting on my on my uh, cameo. So I was I felt I felt proud that the cameo, you know, was noticed. <laughs> um, so, uh, so that's what I did on Thursday. Oh, before that, sorry, on Wednesday night, Wednesday during the day, I, uh, while walking through the big room and collecting business cards and talking about affiliates and advertising and stuff, uh, that's not me typing that about the cowboy's hat. Someone's typing in messages from <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> that's Ralph typing in. Thank you, Ralph, for monitoring the chat. I appreciate it. Lot, lots of help, actually. So, I just want to make that clear. So, so Ralph is typing those responses right there that you see. Because um, I'm responding verbally like this. So, um, anyway, 
uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, so while walking through this room, I had like my, I had a backpack on a cart. I had my purse and I had my bag of equipment, which had my laptop, uh, my sound recording stuff, my camera stuff, and I'm rolling it around. So I kind of pulled over a little bit to catch my breath and readjust. And the crowd in front of me cleared up and suddenly I met, I'm, I'm looking eye to eye with Serena. Now, <laughs> absolutely boing, boing it was. So uh, any of you there, oops, any of you who might be familiar with what's called the golden age of porn or a golden age of adult film might be familiar with Serena. She's known as the golden goddess. She's stunning, beautiful. She just got inducted into the AVN Hall of Fame. In my, in my opinion, it's about fucking time, AVN. And thank you, clap, clap, clap. <laughs> Job well done. <laughs> so I met Serena um, and a few years ago. Uh, Bill Markle had introduced us. Um, I was invited to attend a book signing that she was doing. So actually that's how I met her. And it was, that was, uh, I think it was the end of 2014. It was right before, yeah, it was the end of 2014, maybe even the summer of 2014 um, that I met her. And, um, and then a few months later she came to town because she was working on a book that she had actually started while she was still a dancer on the road working at Mitchell Brothers in San Francisco. San Francisco! And uh, she had, was working on this book called Backstage Girls. Now, I don't know if you can see it face forward or if it's reverse, but anyway, so she had started that book uh, while she was still an actress and performer, but you know, oh, it's backwards, okay. So um, I'll, I'll, I'll post a photo of it later that's facing the correct way. Um, so anyway, uh, so she, she had started working on this book when she was still a dancer and an actress and performer. She wasn't able to finish it for various reasons. And she just had a couple of things that she wanted to add to it. So that's where I came in, the girl with stuff, nothing but stuff. So she, um, I don't know if I should be giving away secrets, but let's just say that um, there's, so... So in this book, well, it's reverse, so you can't see it. <laughs> there's there's uh, poems. Um, there's photos of the girls from backstage, like that. Can't show that for too long. There's a little bit of nudity in that one. And um, oh wow, here we go, dancing with no pay. Anyway, so so she needed help finishing this book and I was able to help her as, as long as well as uh, some other uh, young women. Um, Cannibal, um, Anita Cannibal, I don't know if you're familiar with her, um, and Karen Summer and uh, uh, a few other people. So anyway, so when I saw Serena sitting in front of me, we met fate, you know, eye to eye. <clears throat> It was, it was just mind blowing because I was like, oh my God, here you are, you know, because the night before, if you, if those that were listening remembered, I was, I think I started reading a little bit about how she was being inducted and I was like, oh my God, I didn't know she was being inducted. And, um, so she, there she was sitting there with her trophy and all propped up on, on, on her lap. And, uh, and it was just she and I for, I don't know, maybe like 20 minutes. Meanwhile, there's a line of people waiting and you know to buy because she had on she had her books on display um because there's another book that she wrote called golden goddess or i'm not sure she wrote it or if it's about her actually um and then her photos from from when she was an actress which are just like i kept holding them up going look guys look at these photos they're like wow ralph who was there with me said he's like holy wow wow um anyway and i i, I posted a couple of those photos today I think on Twitter so you can go and you can see those photos um, so yeah so we, we chatted and and hugged each other and and I was just so glad that I was able to be there to maybe I wasn't able to witness the moment she got her trophy but it was close enough and for the person and people who made that possible I thank you um, you can also go to my 
Facebook profile and there's a link to uh, buying the book. And that's it's not an affiliate link. <laughs> it's, like I don't get anything from it. If anything, it all it'll all go to Serena. Um, <laughs> uh, so so I left um, Las Vegas on Thursday after the night of sliding down mud with my friend from my childhood. Um, flew home, got here late, and then Friday I turned around and got in my car and I drove to Anaheim. Now that was usually Anaheim is about 38, 40 miles. Shouldn't take that long. Took two hours. Took over two hours to drive there. Um, so I went to Anaheim to um, for the NAM show. The NAM NAM is National Association of uh, Music something. <laughs> Carl will tell you. <laughs> um, cause I, I can't. What is it? The, oh well, Freckles doesn't know. He won't be able to tell me. So so. Our former show sponsor from when we were on LA Talk Radio, Neil Preston Photography, um, there was he was going there to um, give a give a talk. Now, those of you who aren't familiar with the Nam Show, and mind you, I'd never been there before until this past weekend. It is gigantic. They have called merchandisers. Thank you, TW girl, love you. National Association of Music Merchandisers, or is it Music and Merchandisers? Yeah, <laughs> I say music merchandisers. Um, hey, I, I I think it has marketers. Close. Thank you, Carl. <gasps> National Association of Music Marketers. <laughs> and so, hey Sue. Um, anyway, welcome to beta test number two. So yeah, so there I was at Nam, and uh, you get this app once you're once you're registered. This you know you can download this app, and it basically will tell you everything. Merchants, music merchants, marketers, merchandising, whatever merchants. <laughs> it all starts with an M, and all you kind of get the same idea. Um, so uh, <laughs> my face got a pimple on it. Hey James. So anyway. Um, so I'm at Nam, and I get there the first day, and uh, and there's like concerts already taking place. Not already. There's there's people performing outside. There's people performing inside. Um, it's at the Anaheim Convention Center. Um, <laughs> Google. Sometimes I bing it, but um, <laughs> anyway. So then you go, you walk through the Hilton. So there's all this crazy stuff going on in the Hilton. There's seminars. There's uh, um, on, on just on everything. There was there was a a, spe a a panel discussion on trademarking on how to trademark and the steps to trademarking. The only reason I know that is because it started while I was still sitting in the place that I was uh, helping to prepare for Neil Preston's presentation. So at the so anyway so at the last minute I was asked if I would come up on stage and. Uh, introduce Neil Preston to the audience of people who were coming to sit and listen to him talk. Um, he was giving a presentation on a little bit about his book. Well, it was about Exhilarated and Exhausted, which is his book, which those who, oh, I'd show you, but the camera phone is sitting on top of it right now. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ten more minutes, guy. Ten more minutes. Freckles is honoring son of a bitch. So, um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, so he was uh, giving a presentation about Exhilarated and Exhausted. And there was also a, um, a little mini gallery of some of his work, uh, which was provided by uh, the Light Power Collection. Uh, the Light Power Collection is um, a collection of Neil's work. Or I should say, they're going to start expanding into other photographers. So inspired by Neil's work, um, and this collection of his framed prints, like they're huge. I think they're all sixty by forty. I think Freckles is yes. Freckles is nodding yes, <laughs> or no. Freckles is nodding no. I don't know. Sixty by forty, forty by twenty. 
big size. I can't remember. It wasn't 60 by 40. That's correct. That's way too big. So the next size down, whatever that is, 20 by 40. Um, <laughs> Freckles wants a spotlight. You know, Freckles, no, Fre that's what someone said. Someone is saying Freckles wants a spotlight. Oh, was that a question mark? Darnell, I always tell you, you gotta put question marks because I never know if you're giving me a statement or asking me a question. <laughs> Freckles is farting right now because he ate too much food. Anyway, <laughs> um, so, uh, so, I, so I spent Saturday um, helping Neil Preston prepare for his presentation. It was a PowerPoint presentation. So basically he provided the, the photos on a little jump drive and the guys were sitting there putting it into the PowerPoint and I was sitting there writing it all down. As, and it was three pages of, of images that he was gonna be talking about. And then of course he changed his mind and I'm like, son of a bitch, now I gotta cross it out and I gotta start a whole new piece of paper. <laughs> Because that's how I, I'm not digital. I don't type or anything. Like, I still write. Uh, <clears throat> so, um, so anyway, so, and then also, and here's the other interesting thing. So while we're sitting there working on his presentation, uh, which I was saying benefits, um, doesn't benefit. It was provided by the Light Power Collection and it, and it, the proceeds from the sales of any prints went to the NAM Foundation, um, as well as, um, another organization called Behind the Scenes. I keep wanting to call it Backstage Pass. It's Behind the Scenes, which is a foundation that raises money for music, music, uh, what is it called? Music, professional music technicians, also known as roadies. <laughs> so, right? Yeah, it, the joke went over just as well as it did on stage, too. Anyway, so, um, so like, there's roadies, and they get injured, or if they're sick, you know, they don't work, and they need to pay the bills, they help pay medical expenses, things like that. So, the money that, that this foundation raises helps go to roadies, or backstage music technicians, or whatever you want to call them, in their time of need. So, um... So there, the sales of the book, Exhilarated and Exhausted, and the sales of any of his prints went to those found, two foundations. Um, so what else is I going to say? Oh, right. So while I'm still there, you know, writing all the stuff down, another panel starts, and they start, tar, uh, started talking about trademarking and stuff. But um, I did get to walk around a little bit. You know, there was... There was booths with drummers there's others with saxophones and there's groups of people playing everywhere so you're walking through any time there's either there's guys working on mixing boards see now next year now that i know this i could possibly go hopefully get a, a press pass again and maybe i could participate in one of the panels on how to how to run a board so this doesn't have to keep happening <laughs> so um anyway so so it was time for his presentation. It was, you know, 5 p.m. on Saturday. They, and they told me, I got five more minutes. So they told me, all right, you need to cover this, you need to cover that, and you need to cover this, and then introduce them, and all in 30 seconds. Got it? And I was like, ah! <laughs> no, I don't. I kept putting more mints in my mouth because I was like, I'm nervous, I'm too nervous. And so basically, I covered all the things you know, NAM Foundation, back uh, behind the scenes, and Light Power Collection. But then when it came time to talk about him, I was thinking, well, they obviously know who he is or else they wouldn't be here. So I just said, okay, I'm gonna start mum stop mumbling and I'm just gonna go ahead and bring you the guy that you came to see, Neil Preston, right? So anyway, but while there, I met people that have studio space. So, to get to the to wrap everything up as to what the entire point of this this little chit chat was is that I'm working on getting studio space, working on uh, trying to get advertising or uh, invest investors or you know, and I'm also learning as I go. Um, so um, so tomorrow I have an appointment with a, a woman 
uh, who has a studio space in Hollywood. So we're going to see how that, that, that goes. And it's already set up to record podcasts. Now, like we previously mentioned, I'm used to broadcasting live, which is the only reason why I'm still doing the Facebook Live is because of that reason. Um, or else I would be just sitting at home working, you know, or my friend's home with my Tascam doing little podcasts and then sending it out not very live, but I like the interaction with listeners and, and or viewers. Um, uh, unfortunately, you know, not able to take calls right now. I'll get that figured out. So, and then I have another, I have another meeting with a producer on Saturday. <gasps> yeah. So baby steps. Um, and, uh, so, and, and I want to think, think, those of you who, um, you know, have 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 supported the show, the continuing of the show, and um, just to let you know that that your support isn't going to nothing. It's not going, you know, it's not going down the toilet. It's going to be used for uh, purposes, like I said, you know, because uh, I'm going to need a sound guy now. Um, and you know i need to pay him and uh because i can't keep asking everyone to do things for free um the at, at the very least i would i would want freckles what kind of fucking sound was that he's sitting there with his paw in his mouth right now going freckles it's going to be a short walk tonight <laughs> anyway so um uh, three more minutes. Is there any questions that I can ask at, or answer? Did I cover everything? Yeah, I think I did. So yeah, that's why I just wanted to let you guys know what I've been up to over the past uh, couple of weeks. Um, and that, you know, even though I had been uh, upset at some stuff that had taken place last year at AVN, um, I did boycott the show. Do do you a super stone signing last at her joke? <laughs> you know anyone like that, TW? Just asking. <laughs> I could be the super stoned host right now for all you know. Thanks. Thanks, Crystal Geyser. You're swell. Um, anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> Um, let's see. So there, there are some other things that uh, interesting converse, interesting panel discussions that that took place at the expo that I wasn't there to sit in on, but I do uh, have seen the recordings, and I'm not gonna I'm gonna go over those through my my uh, social media profiles because I don't want to be I don't want to do you know shows talking gossiping all the time. Um, <laughs> do I? Someone says I seem in better spirits. Oh, and here's something. I don't want to ask, I don't, I don't want to see any more questions in my direct messages, in my Facebook Messenger, my Twitter DMs, asking me about Almond. Those who were listening last week know who I'm talking about when I say Almond. Those of you who weren't listening last week but are familiar with what I'd been, uh, what uh, myself and another young woman, TW, had been experiencing over the past few months might know or have an idea of who Almond is. So I'm requesting that please don't ask me about Almond. Don't ask me. <laughs> That's a bitch slap. <laughs> another bitch slap. Don't ask me how the hearing went. Don't ask. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> or as in, they do in Australia. Fuck off. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Yeah. So if you, if 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 you or any of your friends um, feel like they want to know more about the situation with almond, don't ask me. You can look through my timeline. You. <laughs> You can, um, uh, you know, you can, there's, there's stuff already out there 
of I've posted it, I've videoed it, I've pretty much made my comments uh, clear, and right now I don't even want to talk about it no more. All right. <laughs> I have a conversation going on in my head right now and I'm realizing I can't say it out loud because some other <laughs> fucking child stars are going to throw a fucking fit right now if I say their goddamn name. <laughs> right. Um, right. No. <laughs> Time's up. Okay. So, um, he has a hubcap <laughs> that commentary right there tw i love you um so <laughs> i'm glad because before i sat down i was bawling my eyes out in the bathroom <laughs> and freckles was like why are you crying it's not like you're on a schedule anymore mom and <laughs> i was like i'm not on the schedule the listeners are on a schedule they are going to be sitting down waiting for me. The, the nine that are waiting are going to be waiting at 7 p.m., 10 p.m. if you're on the East Coast. And God bless it. That's why I just realized the people that aren't tuning in from the East Coast. Because they're freezing their asses off right now. My God. Time's up. Anyway, um, so those of you who are on the East Coast, bundle up, God damn it. Keep your gloves on, keep your mittens on, put whatever it is in your... <laughs> you know what? No, that's not, that's even too close. No, no, what you talking about. No, what you talking about. No, that's... No, 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 no. Typing out the words of Nicki Minaj's song. None of that. Na, na, na. Z, b, zip it. Right, so uh, 10 degrees in Jersey. I was like, I know you. I know it's 10 p.m. in New Jersey, uh, but actually it's 8, 9, 10, 11. Now it's 11:20. Uh, sure, rub it in. Yeah, that's what I do best. Um, what do you mean not yet in New York City? Well, it's going to get there soon. Um, yeah, when I came back from Anaheim, the the guy at the store down the street told me it's going to rain in a couple of weeks. And with that, let's see. I think I need to sign off. Um, <laughs> Freckles has got a mean sense of humor. <laughs> I gotta tell you that right now. So, um, all right, so who knows what's gonna happen next Tuesday. Maybe I'll have a stoned co-host. Maybe I'll have a flurry fluffy co-host. I don't know. <laughs> um, but uh, maybe I'll be in a studio. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe I'll have a, a, a second burner phone where I can run all my applications off of. So. Or better yet, maybe I'll have the microphone and the camera fixed on this dang laptop so that it, uh, the microphone and camera will be recognized by the computer. That would be awesome. So, um, that with that being said, so I'm actually 30 minutes over because I'm still used to getting off the air at 7.50, 7.55. Um, it's now 8.20. It's time for bed, everybody. Those of you out in New York, New York, New Jersey, out on the East Coast, Ray, you're just now tuning in. It's over. <laughs> but I'm meeting your producer on Saturday. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, looking forward to that. I was just talking about it here. Um, all right, so... Uh, yes, I'm receiving messages going, I need my, I need my living room back. <laughs> I gotta go. Um, so <clears throat> anyway, so like I said, everybody, t you know, who knows what's going to be, where I'll be broadcasting from, if it'll be more professional than this one. Um, but thanks for sticking by my side, sticking, I hate saying by my side, but thanks for, um, your continued support of whatever this is, raw talk. Um, fly by the... Fly by the hashtag fly by the seat of your night rate hashtag fly by the seat of your pants radio. <laughs> um, but I do have to go. 
All right, can you, can, Freckles, can you find me a, some sort of music to go out to? Because a buzzer just isn't working, working for me. Not quite doing the trick. Like, I need a... Ladies and gentlemen, Melissa has left the building. And I'm just realizing my hair looks orange with this hat. Hurry up and get that song, Freckles. Just anything, anything. He's literally hitting the keys one with his paw, one at a time. Okay, not... O-M-G. Okay. Song, a new song. Something I can dance to as I'm walking away. <laughs> Anything? All right, then we might have to just, I'm gonna just like turn the lights off then. That's how we're gonna end the show. With that being said, Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. And wait until next week because who knows what's going to happen. Love you. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.